Hello paddlers! This minefield of goose crap I'm standing in is Babcock Park in McFarland, Wisconsin. Babcock Park is where the Yahar River meets Lake Wabisa. I chose this location because it's pretty windy today and I didn't think I was up for open water. And this is where the Yahara River goes from Lake Wabisa all the way to Lake Kaganza. It's maybe about four or five mile paddle between the two lakes. Shouldn't be a whole heck of a lot of current, although we have had a lot of rain lately, so hopefully that's not too strong to paddle back because I am going with the current first and then I'm gonna turn around and come back up to this location. Let's get on the water. It's a beautiful Saturday in June, so that boat ramp is extremely busy. And you might want to take note if you ever launch from Babcock Park, there is all of maybe eight parking spots that are not trailered spots. Trailered spots are plentiful. There's got to be about 467 of them. I might be exaggerating slightly, but this launch here is definitely not geared towards the paddler. There is um, like a beach launch across Highway 51, but it's a sloppy mess and there's nowhere to park over there. You literally have to carry your boat across Highway 51 and that's just stupid. So I do use the, um, the, the main boat launch here. I've never seen this part of the Yahara River quite this high before. We have had a crazy amount of rain in the last couple of weeks in South Central Wisconsin. I think it'll make for a great paddle because some years this borders on just a little bit too shallow, getting hung up on rocks and logs. I just hope this doesn't affect too terribly much how my miles are gonna look for uh, the return trip against the current. Gorgeous day. Wonder how many inches above the water that dock usually is. The Yahara River runs through Dane County and connects all four of the Madison area lakes, north to south, Mendota, Monona, Wabisa, and Kaganza. The first time I I took that trip and saw all four lakes in a day. I did it in a 12-foot perception tribute, my very first kayak. That was about 12, maybe 14 years ago. First time I did it, it took me five hours. Uh, and then the time after that, I did it about four years ago. And I started in Cherokee Marsh, went all the way through all four of the lakes, portaged at the locks. And I went past, well, I went well past Lake Kaganza all the way to Stoughton. Um, and then I had a disaster with um, my plan A and my plan B <laughs> to get back to my vehicle because I was not going to turn around and go against the current. Um, but that day ended up being about 33 miles. That was actually the most miles I've ever paddled in a day. And that took me about, I don't know, I think somewhere between seven and eight hours. I've been duped once again from a distance. Thought that was a real egret. Looks 
like they've got a bit of a dredging project going on here. I know they had a big project uh, last year, year before, dredging the Yahara between Monona and Wadisa. shorter than I remembered or had estimated. It was only about three and a half miles, um, but I'm really, really close here uh, to Door Creek, where Door Creek meets uh, Lake Kaganza. I've never paddled Door Creek. I don't think it's going to be very interesting, but I'm here. I'm so close. I've never done it, so let's go for it. got some blue green algae going on in Lake Kaganza. Yuck. A lot of duckweed in this part of the lake. Duckweed is one thing, but that it's not duckweed. That's just disgusting. Here we are at Door Creek. Honestly, if you didn't know Door Creek was here and you were just paddling the shore of Lake Kaganza, you would so easily miss it. Creek is a marshy creek that goes due north of Lake Kaganza for a couple of miles. I personally just don't find marshes to be all that interesting. Um, maybe good if you're a birder, but I personally just don't have the patience to sit in one spot long enough to um, observe birds like some people do. I just prefer to keep moving, but I do think I am going to turn around and head back to launch here. Um, I think I'm really going to be fighting the wind, getting back up against the current, back to Babcock Park. So I'm going to give myself ample time to do that, and hopefully it's not too much of a struggle. It smells like a new bridge. It smells like a railroad bridge, actually, but it's a footbridge. It's part of the Yahara River Trail. So this is the part I was dreading. I mean, it's not all that wavy, but I am still going against the current and against the wind. My mile times have gone from oh, about 13 minutes downriver to over 17 something going against the current. Wind is a little challenging on the open water. Ooh, the end is near. Water's a little hot. 
high this year. 